Hello everyone, we are discussing about the characteristics of the DC generator in that we are completed OCC and the load saturation curve. The next is the compound characteristics. Here the compound characteristics is the graph between the field current and the armature current. Here the IF you know that that is the field current and the IA is the armature current. So if you draw the if you draw the curve between the armature current and field current, if it is compound characteristics, the compound curve, if it is the compound machine, it is only available for the compound machine. In that both series flux and the shunt flux will be added. In that case, if you are increasing the armature current, simply the field current will be increases. Field current and flux will be both will be increases. That's why it has two names. Those are it has the two names. Those are armature characteristics. The another name is armature characteristics and and we have regulation curve we can name it is the regulation curve these all are also a different names that is compound characteristics armature characteristics and regulation curve uh, simply it is only available especially for the compound machines okay next so when we are discussing the emf equation that time we have some drops the drop means for example we have the generated emf generally we have some voltage drop so what is the main reason for this voltage drop we have to discuss this is the tile itself causes for the drop of voltage in that the first point is drop due to the armature reaction you know that what is the armature reaction? The armature flux affects on the main field flux. Due to the armature flux, some EMF will be drop. So that is known as the armature reaction generally. So this is the one of the reason the voltage will be drop here. And second, drop due to the armature resistance. You know that this is the armature resistance. Then the drop is IA, RA. Generally, armature reaction represents with the XA. So, drop due to the this armature reaction is IA and XA. Okay. Next. Third, drop due to the reduction field current due to one and two reasons. So, the first reason is drop due to armature reaction, and second reason is drop due to the arma armature resistance due to the these two reasons so generally the field current will be also decreases field current will be also decreases because the generated emf will be some of the emf will be wasted here and here some of the vmf will be wasted here so completely emf will be decreases then the field current will also decreases okay next so in order to understand this clearly, we should take some circuit. The circuit is, if you observe here, this is a DC shunt generator. If you observe here, this is simply a DC shunt generator, I hope. So this is the field current, F, this winding is the field current, this is the armature and the generally armature will produce the armature current that in the from the armature current itself the field current will be supplied to the field and this is the load current load current initially load will, will be in the off condition if you on the load then automatically load will be applied here so here this will be the load and the, we can name it as a, it is a variable load okay yeah so 
just observe here it is the generator the generated emf you can take it as a eg you can represent with the eg so how can we write this eg so the complete generated emf it is armature armature consisting of some resistance ra and so i will write write this initially so generated emf eg equal to this is the, if you connect the load here the voltage will be developed and the load will be the v v plus ia ra this is the armature resistance so generally what is the eg here eg we can write like this eg is generated voltage generated voltage after armature reaction after armature reaction after the armature reaction this is the generated emf uh, what is the armature reaction drop generally e minus eg e minus eg is simply drop due to armature reaction drop due to armature reaction that means if the armature reaction is happen in the armature itself some of the voltage will be drop that voltage will be you can write e minus eg e minus eg okay yeah so some of the voltage will be dropped if the voltage will be increases that means the load will be increases the load current will be increases armature current will be increases then the drop also be increases drop also increases okay so this is the we have to keep in the mind this is the drop due to reaction but sometimes we are not consider the drop due to the armature reaction directly we can write eg equal to v plus ia ra v plus ia ra but we have to keep two points in your mind the first point is if it is sub generally the if you write the load current versus emf the curve between this is the voltage generated and x axis is the load current if you increase the load current in the ideal case the generated emf is in this case but if it in case of the separately excited generator separately excited generator means the separate supply supply the separate supply is given to to generate the flux and this is the load we are connecting to some load we are connecting to load yeah so by varying this we will get some flux due to that flux the emf will be generated emf will be generated so if it is a separately excited generated flux will will not depends on this armature current but here the flux will depends on the armature current only itself so for the separately excited generated emf reduction is very only low value not heavy not high value just low value but in case of the shunt generator the emf decrement is high emf decrement is high that's why the separately excited drop of emf is less compare with the shunt generator compare with the shunt generator so these are these are the reasons for the causes of the drop of the voltage okay so that's why we can give one point that point is shunt generator shunt generator have has more voltage regulation that means no load voltage regulation means the voltage difference between no load to full load voltage than the separately excited generator separately excited generated generator so we can make it as some note 
this is beginning we can take it as a, some important note so for different different generators we have different different voltage stops this is only the live example the voltage regulation in separately excited generator is less compared with the voltage regulation in the shunt generator shunt generator okay so these are the this is about the main reason for causes of the drop of the voltage we will discuss one a small problem then it will be easy here the problem is voltage regulation of dc generator is 10 percent he is given voltage regulation of dc generator okay 10 percent if the same machine is operated as separately excited generation now the, uh, itself is a dc shunt generator dc shunt it is and he mentioned if the same machine is converted the separately excited separately excited in the same load then voltage regulation so generally the voltage regulation in dc shunt generator is high compared with the separately excited so always the voltage regulation will be less than 10 percent because separate flux is separate excitation flux is here okay so this is about compound characteristics and causes for voltage drop and a problem i hope all of you understand the session thank you